All right, solving this problem, first thing I'm do, going to do is just multiply out. So I end up with one plus cosine squared theta over sine squared theta minus cosine squared, oops, squared theta minus cosine squared theta times cosine squared theta over sine squared theta. So combining like terms here, I get one plus, oops, one minus cosine squared theta um, plus <coughs> cosine squared theta over two sine, uh, sine squared theta minus the whole cosine squared theta times cosine squared theta all over sine squared theta. So this right here becomes sine squared theta um, so plus cosine squared theta. I'm combining, all right, so this is done by itself here. It's a new trick identity. Um, I'm combining these two now. Oops. So I'm combining these two. Um, so I factor out and I get one minus cosecant squared theta over sine squared theta. So now this can become sine squared theta, and these cancel out, and what I'm left with is sine squared theta from here, and then just cosine squared theta. And what do you know? This is a trig identity that equals one. Hey, that's kind of nice. That works out. All right, there's your proof. I hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching.